Hello there, my name is Callum Knott and welcome to another tutorial for Godot. Um, so I've made a couple of these tutorials now and people seem to be liking them so I thought I would make another, at least start to make another. And one of the things people have been asking for quite a lot is a 3D tutorial, how to do the basics of 3D in Godot. So I thought I'd show you that now. Uh, this may end up being a multi-part tutorial, I'm not entirely sure how much I'll do in one take here. Uh, but we will see. So we're going to start off with just looking at how we can prepare content for Godot uh, and make sure that it's in a format that Godot can read and kind of importing it in. So I think we'll do that and then possibly in the second tutorial we'll do some of the scripting and behaviour inside Godot. So I'm not, not going to uh, start by making some assets by scratch. I think that's silly to do in a tutorial. This isn't a space for that. But we're going to look at getting some and including it. Um, so I'm going to take some from the blend swap file uh, site. So BlendStop is a great, great site. It's set up for people to share files made with Blender, the open source 3D modeling application. And there's lots of files on here that you are more than welcome to use and download, and they come with different Creative Commons licenses, uh, which means you can generally use them for free games, things like that. Uh, and there are some assets on here which are completely copyright free, which means you can download them and use them in commercial games as well. And uh, you can kind of have a look around on the site if you go to blends and then uh, all blends. You can go and you can look through and you can see some of the different models people have uploaded. Um, for instance, you can see here that there is a generic Les Paul guitar and that's uh, got this copyright zero, which means you can use it for anything you want. Uh, and there are some scenes like this wooden fence, which has a different copyright, which means you might have to attribute them or you might have to uh, relicense your work also under the same license. Uh, be wary, there are some things on here that are kind of copyright, like this Shaun the Sheep model, that's probably something you definitely shouldn't use without uh, Aardman's permission, but uh, most of the stuff on here you, you can use if you have a look around. So I'm going to use something called the Eat Sheep Farm Collection Assets. Now these were a selection of assets made for a game called Eat Sheep, uh, it's worth googling and looking at if you want, I won't show you the trailer now, eatsheep.com is the website, but some of these assets have been released for free for us to download, and they're licensed under uh, the CC by SA, which means we must give credit to the author, which I am, here we go, Eat Sheep, uh, and we must distribute any derivative works under the same license, which means if I make a game and choose to publish it, I must also publish the source code. So uh, that's how this is going to work. So we'll start by just downloading. Again, I do apologise for the noise in this video, as I'm making it on a fairly old laptop and uh, the, the fans do like to heat up a little bit, so that's uh, my apologies for that. So we can just download this, it gives us the licensing again, and we can see we have downloaded the YouTube assets. Or at least we're starting to. Perhaps at this moment in time my internet connection has also died. 35 minutes. Interesting. Well, I'll uh, pause the video here and let you know what happens in a moment. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, we've downloaded the file, um, and we've got it in our downloads folder here, so now it's very easy to unpack. Obviously, it's just a zip file, and inside we can see we have a lot of different Blender files. Um, so I'm just going to open up the first one I want, which is going to be that tractor we've got. So I'm going to open it up here. Here we go, farm tractor 01.blend, and we can see we have a lovely little uh, tractor there. We can zoom in on it, we can see... Yeah, various different things about it. I'm still in camera mode, I think, at the moment, which is why it's uh, a little bit of a weird shot. But uh, there's the stuff. So we can see a couple of things. Firstly, we can see that the tractor is not at all textured. We want to do something about that. It's probably just a link error. Uh, so if we check our materials panel, we can see that uh, there is meant to be a tractor assigned, but it's a currently a TGA. Um, so the texture is downloaded with a TJ, and actually that's no good for us because it can't import into Godot in that format as far as I can work out. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this red tractor. We're going to resave, uh, oh, file, save as. And we're just going to save it as a PNG, farm tractor D PNG, exactly the same name. There we go, but now it's a PNG version. And you'll see the image size is slightly smaller well, as well. Uh, and then from here we can go and we can choose farm tractor D dot PNG. There we go, that's the one we wanted. Choose open and it should load it in. We can refresh that. There we go. And now we can see our tractor has the proper colours that we want on it. 
Now, when we export this from Blender, what's going to happen is everything in the scene is also going to be exported. We don't want any of the lights or the camera to come with us into Godot because they will get turned into objects inside Godot. So we just need to delete all of these so there is nothing else in this scene. There we go. You'll see the colour has disappeared because there's no light, but I assure you it's still there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to export. So we can go File, Export, and we export to the Collada format. Uh, so we do that, and we need to choose somewhere to put it. Now I've made myself a new directory uh, on my Mac, which is just going to sit inside uh, Godot at the root, track to trouble, and then I like to have an assets folder inside here. So we'll create a new directory, yep, that's fine, call it assets, and we can save it in here. Now it's important to remember when we export that we also want to include the textures. So we have to say, uh, not that one, that one, and that one, there we go and that will make sure the image is also exported and we can rename it something if we want to we could name it farm tractor 01 or 02 etc etc um, but for now I'm just going to leave it as it is and choose export so now we've exported from Blender we can go and start setting up our project in Godot so I'm going to open my Godot tutorial build again uh, that's just the one that I use and we're going to start by making a new project so we'll choose new project like I said I've generated a Godot folder which I use just under the main root on my Mac for ease of use track to trouble I've called it already and we're just going to choose that as our destination and again we'll choose track to trouble as the project name I have two projects called that but we won't worry about that for the moment so that should be fine not an issue and we can go ahead and edit. Now, if you'll have seen any of my earlier 2D tutorials, you know that when we import things like bullets um, or, or, to a certain extent, uh, other dynamic objects such as rocks, things like that, what we tend to do is import them as a scene. There's no real concept of objects in Godot, everything is a scene. So we choose import 3D scene. It's not a scene in the sense of a setting, it's an object, it's just called a scene. Kind of confusing, but that's just how it works. So inside assets we're going to choose our farm tractor file, that's fine, and we're going to say we want to import it into, uh, we're going to make a new folder here, oh, under the root, new folder, we're going to call it imported assets, okay, and we're going to go into that folder, so all of our actual scenes will be in imported assets and all of our pre-imported scenes will be in assets. Choose leave everything it is, don't touch it, it's fine, click import, you'll get a nice little message and then nothing will happen. It does not tell you anything, which is particularly useful. Uh, so it looks like what you wanted to happen hasn't happened, like it hasn't worked, but it has. So let's assume this is now our main scene. Nothing has happened. Uh, we've imported a scene, but it doesn't load it at this point. This is still the blank scene that Godot loads to begin with. So let's save this as something first. Let's save... Oh, Okay, we have to make a new route first. So we're going to want a spatial because we're making something in 3D. That's fine, we'll leave it like this. We can call this game. And then we'll choose scene, save scene as, and we'll call this main.xml. Save. So if we want to import our tractor into this scene, we choose the little plus button up here. We choose imported assets and farm tractor 01.scm. We choose open. And bam, look at that. We have a lovely little red tractor sitting in the middle of our 3D world. Isn't that awesome? I think it's pretty cool, actually. I think that works quite well. Um, I, I certainly thought it was, it was pretty neat when we did that. Um, so that shows you how to bring assets into this 3D world. I think I'll finish this tutorial at this point, and I will make a second video tutorial um, that will go on to explain how we then start coding and how we start moving things around inside this world. Alright, thank you very much, and uh, if you like, then uh, please like and subscribe. Gosh, that sounds so cheesy, never thought I'd say that.